if you yell at somebody, they're not going to listen to you. So what I'm trying to do with my work is I'm trying to create a conversation that is not yelling, it's not in your face saying like, fuck Bush. It's saying, hey, we need to talk about this because this affects us all. This is, um, we need to be more compassionate. Like that's the end all goal of my work is to create a sense of compassion in humans. Guerrilla art, or more commonly known as street art, is the art form of the concrete warrior. It's an art style in which the artist creates anonymous art pieces and leaves them in public places for all the world to see. Street art is often commentary on the political, social, and cultural issues of the environment around it. Uh, I think it can be the provocation for comprehensive neighborhood improvement. I think street art can stimulate people's imagination and their sense of pride and place about where they live and create identity. When I was working on the wall, a little boy went by and said, nobody ever does anything nice in our neighborhood. And I thought, that's so sweet, you know? And that's exactly why we do these things, because it's so uplifting to people to see that someone cares about them and their neighborhood. It's fun to listen to other people, how they perceive art, or my art, or the, the walls that I make, uh, because that's what it is. It is that connection you make with others without even knowing them, right? Um, that wall we did in City Heights, uh, there's a lot of tagging and a lot of graffiti going on, but I think that community is very um, solid, you know? There's also very, it's a really nice community. So we were painting, Beth and I, another friend who I invited to paint, and everybody was very friendly with us. Because uh, at the beginning they told us that might be a tough community, but everybody came in and uh, even showed, get, got drinks for us, invited us for dinner. I mean, they were happy just watching um, their community get colors and maps and just someone to relate to. They said that that girl was kind of like the, she was protecting the, the community, the city heights. So that was pretty cool. And nobody has even tagged it or touched it. It's well protected by them. Even the, the tough guys, the taggers, the graffiti artists, they loved it. They, they hang out with us. Though street art is very important to its surrounding community, it also carries a very deep meaning to the artists that make each and every piece. Where I lived, there was a lot of gang activity, drugs and all that stuff, murders, you know, stabbings. And so my backyard was a creek. You know, so um, that's where I saw some, some dudes and some cash tractors just tagging and they left some cans back there and I, you know, picked one up to have to pay and I, I kind of just messed around and from there I just liked the, the culture and that's kind of what kept me away from gangs because half my friends joined gangs and, and then uh, some of them died and then some of them died and then, so it, it was definitely art in general, you know. Um, that's what kind of kept me out of it, doing games and, of course, the graffiti aspect of it. You like it and it's fun to be painting big and have that, I should really get like it or <laughs> I'm never going to be able to pull it off. Yeah. And then you just, just do it. And that, that's, that's where the happy is. <laughs> All artists have a canvas. A street artist's canvas is the world around them. The streets, the walls, signs, even billboards. There's no limit to the canvas of a street artist. Street artists decorate our world in an abstract yet meaningful way. Street art began to rapidly gain popularity after an event was held by one of the world's leading street artists, Banksy. The event was called Barely Legal and it featured the perfect mix between controversy and humor, which follows Banksy's common theme. The magical combination of controversy, celebrity, and the painted elephant turned the show into an event.
Barely legal marked the point at which street art was forced into the spotlight, attracting sudden interest from all art establishments. In the months that followed, prices for work by leading street artists skyrocketed, with the collectors rushing to get in on this exciting new market. Now that street art is gaining much more popularity, it is being accepted as a true art form by all art establishments and community members. Well, I, I definitely know of a lot of people who, having seen my neighborhood and other neighborhoods that have street art, that they want it for their neighborhood if they don't have it. So I feel like there's going to be a lot more opportunities for street art. Um, people are going to accept it, give people permission to do things on their walls, and even go to the extent of finding the funding to provide for the artist. It's definitely opening doors to the art, you know, as far as it being accepted. It's in museums now, you know, you have Chef Perry doing this thing. He's always been doing it, you know, he's been doing it since day one. And so it's just that now to some people it's a, a fashion, you know, it's more of a trend, you know, but it's always been there. Um, the good thing is that it's, it's, be, it's being accepted, you know, more people are seeing it, you know, because before you would have to be in the pits train tracks, wherever, alleys, you know, to see graffiti. Now you see it on commercials, movies, music videos, you know, and then the art's selling for, for top dollar nowadays. And 